All right, what's going on? Ready for a little uh, RimWorld action? I think I think today might be one of the last days that I do RimWorld, or at least work on uh, this guide for now um, until I get some more um, interest in it from the uh, YouTube channel. So if you do end up watching these videos on YouTube at some point in the future and you, you like the content, you like the guide, and you want to see more of it, um, feel free to reach out to me via Twitter or comments in the in the videos and let me know if you want to see more and I'll, I'll make more. Um, but I think after today we'll have about about 20 videos maybe up there for this guide and we've covered a lot of the basics so um, I, I think it might be a good place to stop. Not, not to say I'm not going to play the game on stream anymore. Um, I certainly will because as I've mentioned it's one of my all-time all favorites. Um, but I think I think what I'm going to do is start playing something different for now. Still going to play Overwatch in the afternoons. Um, but I think the Beginner Guide video series uh, is probably going to go on a little bit of a hiatus. I think Prison Architect is going to be one of the next games that I want to that I want to try out. Um, it's been a while since I played that. Another one of my favorites. I love the simulation games. And Prison Architect is got to be one of my all-time favorites as well, which is funny because it has the same art assets as uh, as this game. <clears throat> so let's uh, jump back into our colony. Uh, recap of what happened last time. I think we we had to deal with some blight in our in our uh, crops that we managed to take care of. Big help. Uh, got some got some help from the stream of how to queue up jobs for our our colonists by holding down shift and right clicking um because you you'll want them if you do get blight on on your crops you want them to chop all of those you got wong i thought this was just a bugged muffalo making its way to our base but it's wong <laughs> wong carrying the muffalo so we did that we started to build out a wall perimeter wall around our base i think we'll Probably extend it this way and then down to the to the water's edge. Um, I think we shall do that. So this video, let's let's continue to build out our our wall area. Maybe we want to have another little inlet area here for them to to come in. Um, is this a bunch of steel up here? It is. I'm gonna deconstruct this and take it. And multi select all this. I can't drag and select it all. I'm sure there's another way to do that. <clears throat> Just holding down shift, selecting each one, and then going to deconstruct. Once that's all lifted out, we will we'll take care of the floor that's underneath it. Got some break risks on our dudes. Do what Pierce's needs are. Eight without a table, awful bedroom. We might need some more dining room chairs. Oh, we got four. Four for five guys is fine, I think. They tend to eat at different times sometimes. <clears throat> Food stores are looking good. Plenty of meat. We we cleaned out some of those muffalo. Should have a lot of muffalo fur. Blue fur, is that what that is? Blue fur. Let's look under our skins here. Dog leather. Blue fur. Blue fur is from Buffalo. Ancient danger. Okay, so when you see that ancient danger event, that usually uh, has to do with these sort of looking walls that stick out of hills. What this is, is an actual room. Um, and these ancient dangers sometimes contain... Uh, aliens called uh, mechanoids, which are like mechanical aliens. Uh, they are extremely powerful. They usually have some good weapons, good armor, and they can be hard to kill. What I like to do is set up a bunch of sandbags and turrets and stuff outside, so when I do break in and they come out, I am ready and waiting for them. Because um, it is extremely dangerous. Oh, 
we got a raid here. They are attacking immediately. That's what we got here. Just clubs and a knife. Not going to be too much trouble. They're going to come down this way, so they're probably going to hit our turret. Let's recruit Philly. Let's recruit Vaughn. And let's recruit Wong. And then let's turn on our turret. We can have Ayaka prioritize turning it on. <clears throat> let's watch this play out. Get that turret on before they come in range. And it's on. We got Wong, Vaughn. Where's Philly? He was probably up. <laughs> Taking care of that wall. Oh man, getting chased back to base. Our turret's gonna take care of these guys though. Probably gonna get blown up. These guys are already. Oh, yeah. That was over pretty quick. And we managed to salvage the turret. It'll have to be repaired. Let's see this dweeb guy. What's his health at? Taking some bullets, he's dead in seven hours. He can be saved, but let's look at his stats. Oh, he's an 11 for shooting. Medicals 13, animals 10. Construction is two, but he's got the big flame. This is um, this is someone that we that we want, I think. So let's go to social. Well, actually, hold on a second here. Uh, we can unrecruit our guys. Let's have Philly. Capture Dweeb. Oh, this turret's gonna st waste this guy. His stats aren't as good. I wonder if he's gonna make it out, or if he's gonna just drop down. <sighs> he made it out of range of the turret, but... <clears throat> he's hurt pretty bad. I'm wondering if he's going to make it. We'll have to have Ayaka prioritize tending to the guy that we're saving here. This will be good. Then we'll have six dudes. Dead in six hours. He's going to need some some tending. I wonder who our best doctor is right now. Ayaka's 13. He's 3. Pierce. Nothing. Vaughn. Wong. Nothing. Yeah, it's still Ayaka. Let's send her over there. Prioritize tending. Oh yeah, we also had... <laughs> Nine Yorkshire Terriers randomly join our our colony, so we got a bunch of dogs here. Probably gonna sell them, sell some of them. We should have just sent them all out to attack. Actually, I don't think they're trained enough to, to get that far, but... Let's see if Dweeb can be salvaged. Starting to get a little bit of a sore throat. Hope I'm not getting sick. I think the allergies have gone away at this point. For now. They always come back. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to kick the speed up a bit now. I 
think I want to add some wall here and then down kind of this way. And then if people come from the north, they'll sort of be forced to come in this funnel here and uh, go into our turret. I wonder if they've automatically repaired the turret or not. I don't see a repair. Get that body out of here. I wonder if that guy made it. I think he did. Did we get some of that plasteel? We also had a meteorite crash. We did get some of it. Yeah, and he's continuing to mine it a little bit here. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know if the meteorites are always plasteel. I feel like I've seen other materials. But we got we got a nice uh, nice bit of luck tossed our way when this meteorite landed. It's a bunch of plasteel, which is good. Wild man wanders in. A person living amongst the wild animals has wandered into the area. His name's Dylan. You can attempt to tame him or arrest him. Could have another guy on our hands. Let's see what he's got. Melee, artistic, medical. Eh. We're already working on a sixth colonist right now. But I think we're going to ignore... Ignore that guy. What's a dweeb at? So he's all bandaged up. Who are we looking for medicine? Doing alright medicine wise. <clears throat> Harvesting some taters. Which is good. I want to adjust our meal bills here. We're starting to get more colonists. It might be good to keep more meals on hand. Got the break risk. Vaughn. What does he need? Gonna go smoke, maybe. Other potatoes get put outside. Ayaka's got a lot of training to do on the animals. Oh, but she's getting there. Not too much left. Bond's got a break wrist. He's got needs that need to be fulfilled here. Smoke leaf withdrawal. He needs a joint. Are we out? Are we out of joints? We are. We need someone to roll some doobies. Cleaning up a mess here a little bit. The card table, pool table, lots of surface area to clean right now. Hello, friend, all goods. We got a viewer. Hey, man, are you still there? And plan case of sorrow? Maybe you've already left. You are there. Yeah, see, so sometimes, so I got my Twitch da dashboard in another video, and it counts that as one of my viewers. And it still shows one viewer, so maybe it just hasn't updated yet. A little slow. How's it going? Just working on a little beginner guide here for RimWorld. Going over the basics. Not doing too much uh, the advanced stuff. I was just thinking that this, um, this stream here might be one of the last for it. Uh, I've been chopping these up, putting them up on YouTube. And we've gone over most of the basics here. The only thing I haven't really done in this game is uh, the caravans and the quests and that kind of stuff, so I kind of wanted to get there and try some of that stuff out. But I just wanted to get some more dudes in my colony first. We've just captured uh, an attacker who had some pretty decent stats. You can always use more shooters. Shooter McGavins. Oh, there we go. Now I have it. Now I can see I have that viewer. Alright, I think we've gotten all the steel up over here. Let's pull the steel floor up here. Floors. Remove floor. We'll collect that. Can never have too much steel. They have repaired the turret, which is good. We've harvested some of that meteorite that dropped. Still finishing wall construction here. I wonder if we're out of blocks. 
That's why they haven't finished. We need more slate. Granite. Still got some slate here. Let's make some more slate blocks. I'm very anal. I have to have my walls be the same color. Yeah, kind of going over the uh, the basics here, helping people get a, a grasp on the just the mechanics can be a little daunting for for new players. So I've been um, spending the first hour or so of my of my stream on this game, and then usually jump over to to Overwatch at around one thirty. Um, yeah, I've been chopping these up, putting them up on the YouTube channel. But yeah, I was just saying, I think this might be some of the last ones until. You know, if I get enough comments on the YouTube videos that folks want to see more, then maybe I'll do some more. Or maybe I'll um, <clears throat> I'll start editing the videos down more so that I'm only showing, you know, the important stuff. Because um, we've gone over a lot of the uh, a lot of the basics stuff already. I seem to get the most viewers when I play RimWorld. Strangely enough, probably because there aren't as many channels that are covering the game, so people can actually see mine. But when I go over to, to Overwatch, I don't, I don't have any, very many viewers yet, even though there's like, like twenty thousand people playing that stupid game. We need more cloth. We need more stone. We need more joints. Vaughn has a withdrawal here. Now we got five. I bet. He has smoked one. Well, he's not stoned, but he's not going through withdrawal anymore, so that means he did get himself a joint. Oh, he's, um, it looks like he's eating weed. This is a crafting spot. He's just, he's, uh, he's rolling doobies. I have a bill set up here in the crafting spot to make a smoke fleet, make smoke leaf joint forever. So anytime we have, uh, weed in here, they are gonna just roll joints. It's a good source of money. I always try to rush a bunch of joints and then sell them to, to traders. We also had nine Yorkshire Terriers randomly join our colony yesterday, so now we got nine of these dogs running around. I'm trying to train them all. Got most of them. I think I'm going to sell some of those too, because that's just too many. They're going to be eating me out of house and home. It is a Yorkshire army. I, I, I think maybe what we'll do is the next time we get raided, we'll send them all out. Because um, I think they've all been trained. Yeah, release. This animal can be released to attack distant targets instead of just defending its master. So next time we get raided, let's send out all the, uh, all the terriers and see how much damage they do. I did say I wanted to kick the bills up my meals. I want to have more meals on hand. Now that we got more people, let's keep 60. And let's see, how Dweeb is doing? He's getting better. I want to start trying to recruit him. He's got a high resistance. But our uh, our warden has got a high social. He's got 7. He's got 7. Well, he's got a 12, so... We're good. We can get some of these berries too. Did they pull up all that steel on the floor. They did. All right. Let's uh, let's build our wall out a bit more. Actually, before we do that, let's harvest. Uh, this steel here. Let's mine that and let's mine out these components. Maybe before we end, we'll uh, we'll try to get into this ancient danger room. Maybe after we get our sixth colonist, then we'll feel ready to. Feel ready to, to, to take that on. More berries. 
Okay, the doctor's fully healed now. We have duster, ants, no weapons. He's a good shooter, though. We'll have to make another rifle for him. Let's do that. Another bolt action rifle. Resistance is dropping. It'll take a little bit. For some reason, we're not picking up these potatoes. Not sure why. Some more cloth. We needed that to finish building our dog beds. We got one more left here. <clears throat> probably didn't need to make this many, since we're probably going to lose some of the uh, terriers anyway when I send them out to attack. Hopefully uh, Ayaka hasn't developed a crazy bond with them or anything. Ooh, transport pod. Let's see who we got here. Bang. Eh. What you got for gear? Normal pants. Just take take the clothes. Let them die. Smoke leaves. 75 have rotted away in storage. That's fine. Not refrigerated. We should be keeping our smoke leaf in our cooler, apparently. I think that's new. New with 1.0, anyway. Although, maybe I've just never really encountered it, because I always, I always roll it up into joints really quickly. The joints don't have to be in the fridge, right? That seems silly. She's back to doing research now, because I think all of our animals are trained up. to make this rifle. There he goes. Pierce. Alright, man. Thanks for stopping by. Be playing some Overwatch uh, soonish if you care. Cheers. Is a nice, uh, nice gentleman or woman person. Oh, look at that! Another follower. Thank you. Thank you very much. Manhunter pack. Uh oh. A pack of manhunting ibex have entered the area. Well, we could always use the meat, I guess. How many? There's three of them. Uh. You know what, maybe we'll use this as an opportunity to show you how the, uh, the restrict things, uh, the, the restrict thing works. We want to keep our people inside for right now, and our animals. Let's keep our animals inside as well. Although it is a man hunting pack, I don't think they will attack our animals, but anyway, now you can see all of our guys are inside. And these, uh, these bloodthirsty Ibex will just wander around outside for a little while and then they'll go away or they'll turn into normal animals, I guess. I think that's how that works.
I think it's weird that they won't attack Dylan. I guess because he's just a wild man. Mopsy is pregnant. Who's that? Oh, one of the terriers. They're already mating. Who else is pregnant? You can see this um, little symbol here means that they are pregnant. Eight days out of 24 days. And then our lab is 15 out of 26 days. So the different animals have different pregnancy times. Oh my gosh. Two more pregnancies. Oop. Who's shooting? Oh. A warg killed one of the Ibex. We don't have to worry about that. 